Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. This is probably going to be the last exploration video. We got all the tribals last time, we finished off the space station, all that's left are two spaceship pieces that we need to find, and then we can report into Jeff, and he'll give us the last one. Now we're back here on Tofret, one of the spaceship pieces is in this, on this planet, and there's also some bonus totems that we can collect too. One of them is down here. I pointed out that we couldn't get in there with Juno last time we were here. But Vela can easily swim underwater and grab it. And now I am going to continue along and I will meet you guys where the spaceship piece is. Okay, here we are in the area where we found Gimlet's pants. And there's a little hole underneath this tree. And you just swim on inside, and we'll be able to find Gimlet again. And now he's wearing those baggy pants that we found, too. I guess they're shorts. Yeah, saving galaxies and finding pants. And he's not going to help us but build the ship, but he'll give us the piece for it. And we are now done with that. Uh... There is one other bonus totem that we're going to get, but I have to switch to Lupus. And I should mention now, this video is going to have the last three sections in it, because every area is very short. So I will meet you back uh, where we got the last bonus totem on Tofret, with Lupus. Okay, here we are again. And to get to this bonus totem, we have to go back up this bridge. And that little hut up there has a life force door on it. We have to kill all these floating, flying uh, drones in order to access it, so let's take care of that. We don't have to get the tribal, so I'm just going to ignore them. We already got them all here, so there's no point in doing it again. Alright, now I thought there was a jet, uh, jet fuel pad around here, but there isn't, so you just have to rely on... Lupus's ability to fly, and, whoops, oh well, activate that just in case I fall, here we go, oh see, it's kind of tough, it's up a little bit high, so you have to time it just right, and I screwed that up, try it one more time. Perfect. All right. Let's. Oh, grab that. It's a time mine increase, which I'll probably never use. And we get the bonus totem. All right. This is the end of Lupus and the end of Vela. We're done. We don't need them for anything anymore. So I'm gonna switch to Juno, and I will meet you guys on Goldwood. Okay. Here we are, back on Goldwood with Juno. We are at this Floyd door you may remember from many videos ago. Magnus was here last time we came this way. And of course he's gone now. But uh, in between finishing off Tofret with Lupus in this part, I took the liberty of going ahead and getting a lot of the stray capacity increases I missed for Juno, as well as the fish food. And I hit up the Diamond Geezer for some health and ammo. So I'm pretty good. I don't have to worry about much of anything now. Although I have been trying this Floyd mission and I'm not doing so well. I pass it, but the highest I managed to get was a silver. And if that's what I get, whatever I get on this one, I'm going to stay with it. Because I'm getting tired of this. This one is probably one of the hardest ones, if not maybe the hardest. Uh, you have to collect 16 of these things, these little ore uh, pieces, and shoot 10 targets to get a platinum. And you have to, of course, do it in a quick manner. I just can't handle these turns on this controller. If I had the N64 controller, I think I could do it, but not on this. Maybe after I'm done with the video, you know, with the, 
the entire let's play, I might go back and try this again because you can go back and do stuff after the game's over. Uh, and obviously fight the final boss again, so who knows? Maybe I'll try it again later when I feel more confident. But I want to at least do this so I can at least say I, I tried it. Ugh. I got a silver, not bad. Uh, I don't even know what the prize is for getting a gold or a platinum, but I don't really care. Anyway, we're done with Goldwood now, and there's only one place left to go. So I'll see you guys back at Mizar's Palace. Alright, here we are at Mizar's Palace, the last place we need to go. Now. Let's see if I can find it without having a... Okay, good. You may remember, uh, we didn't really explore this section last time. We just kind of went in the pyramid after we activated it. But, over here, somewhere, there it is, there's a hole in the, uh, in the wall. And we can walk into it, and it'll take us to someplace neat. I chose Juno for this because, uh... Well, you'll see in a minute. I think any of the three characters can do this, though. Head inside this ancient-style pyramid. Get some money. And activate... Oh, wait. We have to use the fuel pad to get up to this pad. On top of this tall column. And we can turn into our green ant self. Uh, I think Juno has an affinity for dressing up as giant green ants. Effeminate giant green ants. Now the door we came in will lock, and we can only go through this door. And inside, we will find... Racing flags. That's right. Now, you may remember when I did the Jeff and Barry arcade games, I mentioned that it's kind of foreshadowing. Well, this is where it comes into play. This is just like the Jeff and Barry game, except now it's in 3D! And we're going to enjoy it. First place is an old piece of junk that we need. The controls are exactly the same as they were for the arcade game too, which is good. Whoops, accidentally used a boost. My health goes down for whatever reason on this, but it goes back up to normal when we finish. That's three laps, and we have to come in first, of course. There are some traps along the way that we can use, if I manage to grab them. Whoops. Controls are a little tough. I mean, Rare always sticks some racing element into these games. Uh, they have them in... Conquer and Banjo Kazooie and DK64. And this game is no different. I don't know if you get any breaks, but it doesn't matter to me. Start using my turbo boost. Now, if in case you've forgotten, the blue things give you a boost. Uh, the red ones give you a bomb, and the green ones are oil slicks. Ah. Managed to pull ahead of me. Oh, and the AI here is a bit smarter. They know when to bomb you and stick traps in your way. This guy's using all the oil slick traps. If I can get next to him and drop a bomb... Damn. If I can slow him down even a little bit, it won't... There we go, I got him. Should be able to make it to the first place now. I want that piece of crap that they give away as a prize. Oh, it's over! Alright! 
And we won a multiplayer secret. Now let's see what our prize is. Every other character calls us a piece of worthless junk that they found. To these dumb ants, it's a piece of gold. It is the last spaceship piece we needed for King Jeff's ship. And that's it, guys. There's nothing left for us to do. Uh, I guess we have to get out of our little ship and turn back to normal. But King Jeff is still here at Mizar's palace. So next time, we're going to go after Mizar. We're going to chase down that asteroid and end the game. I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. And I have a little secret project to work on. But you guys, hopefully, will see you later tonight. Thanks for watching.